Hey friends, how are you? I hope you're having a great day today. Today we will be creating a polar bear, so let's get started. The first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to make a circle. At the top of this circle on the sides, we're going to make an upside down U and an upside down U. And then inside those upside down U's, we're going to make smaller upside down U's, just like that. Now we're going to move down to the middle of our polar bear's face and we're going to make some eyes and they're going to be ovals. Make that one just a little bit bigger. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make an oval nose with a shine mark in it, meaning an area where the sun reflects light. Two little curved lines for his smile. And then we're going to move down to our polar bear's body. So we have a curved line and a curved line. These are going to be the elbows and arms of our polar bear. And now let's create the paws. So you come here and you connect these two lines. You come here and you connect these two lines. And then you can even put some claws here if you'd like. Now for his legs, they're down here. So we're going to make some slightly curved lines. And then right in the middle of these two curved lines, you're going to make the letter U, just like that. Now we're going to connect this line to this line. And we're going to connect this line to this line. And then we can make some more lines for our claws. So there's our polar bear. Now let's make a background for our polar bear. So I'm going to start pretty low on the piece of paper and I'm going to make a line. It's not going to be super straight. Did you see what I just did? I made a straight line. I'm going along. Oh, I ran into my polar bear's body. So I pick up my marker. I move across his body and then I make another line. I pick up my marker and then I make another line coming out the other side. All right, now I'm going to do the same. Give a little bit of space here, maybe like an inch or maybe two centimeters coming out. This is going to be some ice right here. So we want to make some lines that show that this is ice. They don't have to be perfect. Some of them close together, some of them further apart. So remember those areas down here too. All right, now I'm going to make another line that comes up, jump over that body. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a few trees way off in the distance. You can color these in any color that you like. I'm just going to use my black marker. So I think I'll put one tree there. I'll put one tree here. And these are basically just triangles. And then maybe I'll put one over here and then I'm coloring them in. If you'd like this to have a little bit more color, you can actually color these in with a green or whatever color you'd like with your crayons or your markers. Now I'm going to move down here and I'm going to put just some really light squiggly lines like this. That way it'll show that this is ice right here. So the polar bear is standing on the ice. I'll put some clouds up in the sky. Maybe one over here. Maybe even a smaller one here. There we go, there's our polar bear. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you for watching.